Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. Today, we are going over every AFC game this week. Week 17 is the most important week of the year in some circumstances, and it's definitely, you know, very important this season. Because in the entire NFL, only the Kansas City Chiefs have clinched a seed so far, meaning they are going to be the one seed throughout the playoffs. No other team in the entire NFL has clinched a specific seed yet, so it could be completely, completely different than it is right now. Here's a picture of the AFC bracket right now. This entire thing can completely be different except for the Chiefs at one. I am doing an only AFC prediction video because um, none of the NFC games affect the AFC playoff bracket. And then I'll be posting an NFC video too. So that makes more sense. So let's go over every AFC game. So starting with the Jets at Patriots. This game does not affect the playoff bracket. The Jets, they're playing. I don't know why they're playing good. You know, some have considered their two past wins the worst wins in NFL history. Because they could have had the first pick. It potentially drafted one of the best QBs ever. Maybe that's an overstretch, but still. The Jets are winning games. The Patriots keep losing. And honestly, I think the Jets are playing better than the Patriots. I think the Jets are going to upset the Patriots in New England. Maybe the first time the Jets beat the Patriots, I don't know, in like 20 years in New England. That's how, you know, dominant the Patriots have been. But honestly, give me the Jets by like three. So next, we have the second most important game of the day. There are two very important games in the AFC, and the outcomes of these two specific games create completely different playoff scenarios for the entire AFC bracket. And this game is the Dolphins at the Bills. This game is very important because if the Bills lose, they could drop the third seed if the Steelers win, and if the Dolphins win, they make the playoffs. But if the Dolphins lose, they don't make the playoffs if another specific amount of teams win. So this game is very important for both teams to win. Looking at both of these teams, let's start with the Dolphins. The Dolphins defense has been looking pretty solid. You know, the one thing that I don't understand about the Dolphins is how they're even like 10 and 5 right now. It surprises me, but their offense has some bright moments sometimes. Tua is the starter. Fitzpatrick is the finisher. That's what they like to say. But if the Dolphins defense continues to play good, and if it dominates in this game, they can win. But unfortunately, the Buffalo Bills, I believe at this point in time, are the best team in the NFL. Better than the Chiefs, better than the Saints, better than the Packers. I think the Bills have the most dominant offense in the league. They can, they can throw the ball to whoever they want. Stephon Diggs is always wide open. And since uh, Josh Allen has so much time to throw the football, like no one sacks him. Since he has so much time to throw the football, it just leads to completion after completion after completion. They don't even need to run the ball. I think the Bills have the best team in the NFL, especially since their defense is decent enough to lock up a team. So I think the Bills are going to win at home against the Dolphins. If you're wondering, are the Bills going to start their starters? The answer to that question is yes. So the next game is the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Cleveland Browns. And this is the most important game of the week. But I feel like we already have an uh, answer to the winner of this game. Because the Steelers have announced that they are benching their starters. This includes Ben Rosberger. I'm guessing Minka, TJ Watt. All the veterans on defense, probably most of the receivers, including Deontay, Juju, and Claypool. So we're going to see a completely different Steelers team with Mason Rudolph at QB. The Browns are a solid enough team to beat really good teams. And especially since Pittsburgh is benching their starters, I believe Cleveland is going to get the win at home. Um, if the, the Cleveland Browns receivers aren't back in time, uh, like the, I think all three of their main receivers were out against the Jets. If they're not back in time, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers won this game. I believe they should be back, but I think the Browns are probably going to you know, win this game by a solid 10 points. So you're probably wondering, 
why would Pittsburgh intentionally lose this game? Well, if the Bills win, which Pittsburgh thinks they will, and the Steelers lose, which, you know, they probably will, then look what happens here. The Steelers would actually be hosting the Browns the week after in wild card weekend. Look at that big brain strategy by Mike Tomlin. How smart is that? What he's doing is he's forcing the Cleveland Browns to play their best game possible week 17. And uh-oh, we have your entire game plan the following week. Since Steelers aren't going to start their starters, the Browns have no clue what is going to happen the following week. This is a big brain play by Mike Tomlin to intentionally lose this game. Although the Cleveland Browns are going to win this game, is it really a victory? Let's find out in a wild card weekend. The next game is the Ravens at the Bengals. This game has playoff implications, especially since if Baltimore loses, they won't make the playoffs. There's prob that's probably going to happen because there are four teams currently in the wild card race. So if Baltimore wants to make the playoffs, they got to win this game. But it's against the Cincinnati Bengals, a team they've dominated forever. Um, you know, we saw that the Ravens lost to the Bengals week 17 in 2017 with Andy Dalton and actually kicked them out of the playoffs. It would be really funny, really funny if that happened again. But I 100% guarantee it's not going to happen. I believe the Ravens are going to dominate this game and probably win by 20 points. So the next game we have the Jaguars at the Colts. This game is another divisional rival. Every Week 17 game is always a divisional game. This game is a playoff implication game because the Colts are outside looking in. The Colts are going to win this game. It's the Jaguars. There's no shot they lose. But are the Colts going to make the playoffs? We're going to have to see who else wins and loses. So the next game, Titans at Texans. This is an important game only for the Titans to win. Um, you know, if the Titans lose this game, they might not make the playoffs. That is that is scary to think about. This team has been in the playoff bracket the entire season, basically the fourth seed the entire year, third seed sometimes. And if they lose this game, they might not even make it. But I believe the Titans are better than the Texans. But the Texans can definitely prove us wrong here. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Texans outperformed. But the thing about the Titans is that their offense is probably, probably the best in the league. Besides the Bills and the Chiefs, I think the Titans are at the top. Um, Derrick Henry's a monster. Their wide receivers and Tannehill are just on point every game. But the problem with the Titans is their horrible defense. And that's why the last time they played the Texans, they almost lost because the Texans scored so many points against them. The Titans are probably hoping for this to not happen again, but it might. I honestly believe the Titans are going to win this game just because they're out, going to outperform the Texans on offense. And that's the reason why I'm picking the Titans to win this one. So the last two games in the AFC are irrelevant games. The Chargers at the Chiefs. Um, the Chiefs have announced they are benching Mahomes, probably the rest of their starters, including Tyreek Hill, Tyra Matthew, Travis Kelsey, you know, everyone. So it doesn't matter who wins or loses this game. It doesn't affect the playoff bracket at all. And honestly, I think the Chargers are going to win just because the Chiefs are benching everybody. Chargers have been playing decently well. Just give me the Chargers by like three, maybe ten. It doesn't really matter that much. And the last game in the AFC Another game that doesn't matter, the Raiders at the Broncos. The winner of this game and the loser of this game, you know, it just doesn't affect anything. Um, I think Derek Carr is playing good. The offense is playing good. Their defense isn't. The Broncos, they're pretty bad. Um, they always have been. I think the Raiders are probably going to win this game. But like I said, it doesn't matter who wins or loses this one. But I do believe the Raiders are the better team. So here is the ESPN NFL playoff machine, as you can see. And here are all of the games being played. And I'm going to fill in 
all the games that I picked in this video. I said the Jets were going to beat the Patriots, but this game doesn't affect anything. I said the Bills were going to beat the Dolphins. I said the Ravens were going to beat the Bengals. I said the Browns were going to beat the Steelers. I said the Titans were going to beat the Texans. I said the Colts were going to beat the Jaguars. The Raiders are going to win this game. The Chiefs are going to win this game. And those are the eight AFC games being played. And here is the most favorable, in my opinion, playoff bracket for the 2020 the 2021 NFL playoffs. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below your predictions. Thanks for watching. Adios.